Hi, I'm John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food. Well, this morning I want to show you how to make a bay leaf tea. Actually, I'm going to make a bay leaf and lemongrass tea and this is something that my mum would have made for me as a boy and something I grew up with in Barbados and I really enjoy bay leaf. It, it's such a, you know, it has such a phenomenal flavour and what I normally do too if I'm cooking with bay leaf because I always use bay leaf as well too when I'm cooking, I would often tear the leaves and if you smell it, if you smell this, this flavor is absolutely divine and phenomenal. And I love to make bay leaf tea, especially if it's a nice cold day in the Caribbean. Sometimes we have some cold days, especially like in December or January. And I love to make a nice bay leaf tea. So two days ago, I was actually out and about driving around and I saw this bay leaf tree at this lady's house. So I stopped and I got out and I, you know, I rang the bell and I asked her if I can possibly pick a few bay leaves from her tree and she said yes. So I went ahead and I climbed the tree and very carefully of course so I don't fall but I could still climb. I had a lot of boyhood, boyhood days and I climbed the tree and I was able to pick a few bay leaves and I'm going to use this for making tea which I'm going to show you right now how I make a bay leaf tea. And I'm also going to use this as well too for when I'm cooking, but when I'm making regular tea as well, if I'm just making, let's say, making some regular Earl Grey tea or any regular tea, I'll just always add a little bay leaf into it. And of course, if I'm making some soups and sauces, I always use bay leaf, so I'm happy to have this bay leaf as well. And the other thing as well is that yesterday I went to and I picked some lemongrass from the garden and uh, just pretty much clip it with the scissors. It's growing there. And this, of course, as well too, has a really lovely flavor, lemongrass. And if you smell it, it's such a strong, intense flavor. So I thought, let me show you how to make a bay leaf and a lemongrass tea. And if you want, you can also add a little bit of brown sugar as well too. And of course, you would add this as well too in your pot. So let me just kind of share with you how this is made. I grew up with this as a boy. I still drink it as an adult. And it's one of the most amazing and phenomenal teas you can ever have. It's very light. You can drink it any time of day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, at night, late, anytime you want to drink a bay leaf tea. And of course, as well, to this tea, if you have like a stomach ache, this is a really great tea for if you have a stomach ache as well too. It really cleanses your system. And I love to drink it without sugar, but I'm going to include a little sugar here for persons who may want to add a little sugar to it. But you need to add a sugar when you're actually going to be boiling this bay leaf tea. So what I do to make this bay leaf tea is I wash the bay leaf very carefully in running water, cold running water, because you know it's basically exposed to birds and to the elements and to dust and so. So you want to wash it really, really well under running water. And then I also wash my lemongrass as well too, under running water as well too, just to make sure it's nice and clean because I picked it from the garden. And then I'm going to proceed to chop my lemongrass up just very roughly, it doesn't have to be anything special or particularly you just want to kind of bruise the leaves just to really get between those leaves and get that flavor out of the lemongrass and then we're going to combine the lemongrass as well as the bay leaf into a saucepan I'll also add water to it as well too and I'll bring it to a boil and when it's boiling I'm going to add a little sugar to a little bit of the brown sugar to it and once it comes to boil, let it boil for probably, let's say, five to eight minutes. Turn it off, and then I allow it to sit for probably another five minutes for the flavors to infuse into the actual tea itself. And then from there, I go ahead and I strain it into a bowl or a container, whatever you want to strain it into, into your teacup. How beautiful that liquid looks. So this is gonna make the most amazing tea. And I, I tell you, I already looking forward to it. My tummy is looking forward to it, actually. So we pour this all off. So we have that strained. And then from here, we're going to go straight into our glass. And let's taste this bay leaf and lemongrass tea. Wow, this is amazing. 
Wow. So let's just taste this tea. Mm. And it's so lovely. Mmm, so delicious. I could drink this all day. I could taste the bay leaf and I, I can also taste the hints of lemongrass as well too. And a little sugar, it's not a lot of sugar, but you don't have to use sugar. If you don't want sugar, you leave the sugar completely out. But this here tastes divine, it's so wonderful. And I, I look how clear it is, look how, look how beautiful this looks. So gorgeous, such a lovely tea. So, so that's my bay leaf and lemongrass tea. If you have enjoyed this video, you've learned something, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And again, I am John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food.